Hey guys, it's JG here with Earth 5D, back for another pick a card reading. How is everyone doing today? I am feeling very inspired to do a their thoughts, feelings, and intentions the next 48 hours. And I think I've correlated, it seems to be like right around the new moon. It's just the time to really manifest, right? And to really bring something new into our lives. So that's why I feel inspired. It's been, uh, gosh, I've only done two others and it's been months. So I thought let's give it a try, right guys? So we're gonna ask their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and possible actions the next 48 hours. And we're gonna dig right in. I have some sage here and a whole bundle of something else. It's not, believe me, it's it's legal. <laughs> it's not anything illegal. Um, I'm gonna light this to kind of clear the energy and you guys can choose, uh, you guys can choose a pile. There's three piles there. The first pile is best friends, two friends stick together no matter what. This is the Unicorn Oracle deck by Dorian Virtue. Listen to your true feelings. Don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong. That's two. And for three, happy thoughts. To feel happier right now, think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. That's pile three. Okay guys, so go ahead and choose your piles. One small word to the wise while you're doing that is, guys, whenever you're doing pick a card readings, I know how it goes. Like you'll burn through a bunch of, you know, at once. So make sure when you're choosing, you know, choosing a channel or choosing a pile, etc., that it that it resonates with you completely. Like you are the final say in your truth. You have your own truth. Always. You are your truth. And so if something's not resonating, don't settle. Don't settle for that being your truth. You know, you have your truth. Okay, guys. So thank you, universe, for bringing everyone here to find out what's going to happen in their connection the next 48 hours. Thoughts, feelings, intentions, and possible actions. All right. We ask this in mind and body and spirit. Okay, guys. I have picked cards in advance, oracle cards tarot cards, different types of cards. So let's dig into pile one's reading. So if you chose pile one, welcome. Welcome to Earth 5D. I'm so glad you're here. All of you, I love you guys a lot, very much. So happy that, that you're here. I'm happy to share this information with you. So I have shuffled, picked lots of different cards from different decks, and we're going to find out what is your person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions, and possible actions the next 48 hours? Okay, guys, so I'm going to pull back the cards and we're going to see what's going on here. So we have, first card is Warrior Woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? Thoughts, feelings, intentions, and possible. So this feels to me like your person is thinking, uh, have they answered their deepest calling, right? Or they're thinking you are their deepest calling, right? They're feeling like you're their, their deepest calling. So dreaming of you. I'm gonna go through these here in a sec, guys. I'm gonna try and pull them back. Unless I feel so inspired to say something. The union of hearts, uh, a love connection defies explanation. This one's, this one came out earlier this week. Of course it does, right? Love. True love defies explanation. Anything that needs to be defined, it's like, I would question that, you know? Why do things need to be defined? That probably drives some people insane, but that, that's how my spirit works. We have nine of pentacles here, guys, this tiny little tarot card. We have the queen of pentacles. That's you. They are thinking you are very high value. They love they love how grounded and, and wow, beautiful you are. So we have the High Priestess, Best Friend, True Love, the High Priestess. We have the Devil, Possible Fears is feeling like, guys. Five of Wands. I'm going to put these down here. Any kind of card that's not a major arcana. 
Ace of Wands, Knight of Cups, Judgment. Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, very nice. Queen, the Queen of Pentacles, ten, and the, the nine. And then we have getting to know each other. And we have engagement. So this is a commitment, a deepening of the commitment. So if some of you are nowhere near engage, you know, engagement, and yes, yes, there's a missing E. Yes, we already know that. So, okay, guys. All right, so pile one, if you chose pile one, this person is really beginning to see your mystery. They're beginning to see like how powerful you are. And it's really turning them on with the, with the Ace of Wands, with the warrior woman and the high priestess. This to me feels like this person is seeing you in your, in your power and it's turning them on. With the Nine of Pentacles, that goes to the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. This person wants to deepen their commitment, Pile One. This person wants to come towards you with the Knight of Cups. This is someone who is moving towards you with love. So this to me feels like action. They're moving towards you for a union of heart. So this they're realizing this love connection defies explanation and they're okay with that. So where there used to be fear with the devil right there, they're making friends with these fears and they're beginning to, you know, when, when you, what you resist persists, right? So when they're not resisting fear, then they're, they're working through it. And so it feels to me like the end of conflict. It feels to me like the end of conflict. And if they had conflict in the past, then it's, I feel like it's falling away and they're dreaming of you, right? They're dreaming of you. And with judgment here, it's simply, a lot of this simply has to do with, in the next 48 hours, just massive blessings coming your way. The judgment card in my readings is about rebirth. It's about resurrection. So I feel as if you guys are getting a resurrection, this is a second chance, right guys? So you're getting a second chance to walk away from fear, to kind of be friends with that fear and to see you for who you are. Now, high powerful women, or men, take it resonates, whether, you know, whoever's watching this. High powerful, high powered people feel scary sometimes. They feel scary to love because it's unexpected. Like, what are they going to do? You know, they're very strong. So it's kind of like how, you know, how they were, they were wondering how they were going to make sense out of this. They were wondering how they were going to get close to you because you might have seemed a little un unattainable. So how could they get close to this, this warrior, right? with the sword. She's got a sword. She looks kind of bad ASS, you know, and with the ace of wands. So they're starting to feel passion towards this energy. They're starting to feel passion towards the, the bad ASS nature of who you are. And they're, they're making friends with their fears so that their fears are, don't feel so big. And they want to come towards you to end this conflict inside. Inner conflict is what it feels like. For some of you, if it's outer conflict, okay, you know, maybe you guys have had some outer conflict, but I don't feel like it's very, very uh, large part. You know, I don't think it's a very large part of your experience if you chose pile one. I feel like this person is very magnetized towards you and in the next 48 hours, it feels like they're gonna walk towards you and ground this. Look at the nine and the 10 and the queen. So this is you. And they want to give you one more coin to give your life this Ten of Pentacles feel. So this is, again, a deepening of the commitment, guys. This is seeing you as a very high value person and not being afraid of you being in your power anymore. So I feel like as if they're going to hop on, as if they have a dolphin. But if they had one, they would hop on their dolphin and come towards you, Pile One. So this is definitely getting to know a different side of you, Pile One. They might have known you for years, but this is... Them getting up close and personal with the side of you that's that's in their power, that's truly in their divine masculine or feminine, you know, depending on who's watching this. So you can expect new passionate beginnings here. You can expect a second chance. I feel like this person is coming towards you with the Knight of Cups, and they they feel a union of the hearts with you. They have a, a new feeling of togetherness, 
and they want to ground it. Now, with you being the Queen of Pentacles and the High Priestess, they see you as not only being um, a realistic partner and a practical, witty, I'm hearing, down-to-earth person, but they also see you as very mysterious. And that's the part of you that they want to connect to. So this love connection defies explanation. So this is what I mentioned in my reading earlier this week about age differences, uh, different origins of, of religion, different origins of countries living in different places on the globe. A lot of different differences. That doesn't make sense, different differences. A, lot of, a large spectrum of differences coming together for union because it's the highest good for that kind of, it's the highest good for creation for your creation and for creation itself so guys this is about you learning to be friends with the sides of each other particularly the divine feminine that side of the divine feminine that was big and is big and is mysterious and then also with this divine masculine energy of reconciling with their fears, reconciling with things that they've kept in the dark and allowing this passion to come out pile one. So let me read this to you. So I definitely feel like the next 48 hours coming forward, ending conflict and seeing different sides of you that they hadn't seen before, wanting to get to know you guys in a different way, dreaming of you. Someone you love will appear to you in your dreams. They reflect a part of you, a time of remembrance, a time of reflection and healing. So, yes, it's like you're going to be in their subconscious mind. I did that reading on dreaming earlier in the week. I think that's synchronistic. So you're going to be on this person's mind. You're going to be in their dreams. They're going to want something new. You're getting a second chance. I feel as if this is something passionate and everyone's becoming friends with each other's differences is what I'm feeling. All right, power ones. So that's what I see happening in the next 48 hours. Make sure you drop a comment below and let us know what is actually happening. I'm going to get some advice for you. Um, this is Earth 5D Divine Feminine Oracle deck. And I'm just going to draw some cards in here, guys. Let's see what we got for you. Uh, yes, everyone asks, do you close your eyes or do you know? Do you randomly choose these? Absolutely, I choose them just like I would. Any other cards? Okay, so your advice here is commitment, see, engagement. So lifelong partnership. So pile one, this is a deepening of the commitment. This is a understanding that they, this person wants to get to know more of you and, and give you the, this pinnacle. This is a lifelong prosperous connection. So for many of you, I mean, it's not like, for some of you, you will like get an offer of engagement, right? Take what resonates in terms of where you're at in the connection. And for some of you, it's just that things are going to really ground for you here. They think you're high value and they want to give you, they want to give you these pentacles. They want to give you the stability emotionally and physically, literally like physical and emotional stability. And with the mother card, Divine Mother is calling you to the crystal cavern. So this is that energy of connecting to Mother Earth deep in her core. This is the understanding that we are connected with the High Priestess to Mother Earth, no matter who we are. If you're on this earth, you're a part of Mother. And so it, it's getting in harmony with this kind of mother energy of Gaia Mother. And so the advice here is to ground your energy in the earth and to tell Gaia Mother Earth what you want. You are her child. Tell her what you want to manifest. Tell her what you need. And imagine that you are grounding into the crystal caverns in her earth and that you're getting, you know, your heart's desires fulfilled. So these are two people that I feel like want to stick together no matter what. Okay. Let me get a few more charms. No charms at all. I'm sure I haven't gotten any yet. <laughs> Alright, pile one people. We have six, eleven, two. So this feels like February twenty-seventh. And we have a thirteen and a one. Take it resonates with those. I'm seeing if anything's speaking to me. Here, there's new, here's your new beginning. So 
with that ace of wands here you know this person wants something a new beginning with the judgment here you're getting a new beginning a resurrection fig that's hilarious uh take what resonates guys these are also the initials too you don't have to read those consecutively as words gif yep you can make tons of words here it's like a scrabble so you do have an angel here i feel like it is a guardian angel with you i feel it could for many of you be a past a relative from your past two of them actually one of them feels like younger like crossed over to the other side more recently and yes this you guys have you're acquiring a lot of wisdom with the elephant you guys are wiser much wiser than you were in the past when you first started so if you guys are feeling like you're spinning this is about like kind of spinning in the ocean of emotion ocean of emotion things are becoming grounded so yeah all those pentacles is grounding guys so make sure you're listening to your heart this is the advice listen to your heart make your heart your king or your queen and you know things are going to work out for you and your person okay all right pile one i'm so glad you stopped by thank you so much make sure that if you like this you like it give it a thumbs up and if you haven't become part of the 5d family would love to have you for future readings got a whole bunch out there you can find and there'll be plenty to come yeah guys if you want your own personal reading into your own subject you know your own person subject into your own person <laughs> sounds like a scientific project your own subject um yeah hit me up for a private reading the information is in the description below all right pile one thank you lots of love to you appreciate you all and be well okay see you in the next reading okay pile two people how are you doing today if you chose the card listen to your true feelings don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong if you chose pile two guys this is your reading we're asking the question what's going to happen with me and my person in the next 48 hours what are their thoughts feelings and intentions and possible actions towards me what is going on in other words so let us dig in I have the card here, the Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realm. So, wow, your person is feeling like you guys are really getting supported from the other side. I feel like they, they have the sense that there's divine orchestration, that something's pulling them to you, and it's making them listen to their true feelings. So something is pulling this person to you, and they're aware of it, and it feels like it's coming from somewhere other than themselves. So with the aura of love, the union of light and dark, of earth and sky, balancer of anemia and animus, the merger of two souls, the merger of two souls. That's you and your person. Acknowledge the masculine and feminine aspects of yourself, both yin and yang, to create a perfect balance. So yeah, this person is noticing, they're discovering, they're discovering that they're balancing out and because they're balancing out, they're able to listen to their feelings more and, and connect to this divine orchestration that as a, is at play in all of our lives, right? So we have new love. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. And since we're doing a love reading, you know, this is new love. So this is seeing you in a new light. This is as they're balancing their own divine masculine and feminine. They they feeling a new love towards you in this next 48 hours. They're feeling they're they're able to listen to their feelings more and they're they're getting balanced. So we have justice. So this is this is a great. So whatever went wrong, guys, is gonna be made right. So why? Is because your person is able to listen to their true feelings in a new way. And we have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups came out in the last reading. So this is movement. This is off, you know, this is saying, I love you. This is feeling like wanting to make an offer of love. We also have the Queen of Cups. So they're feeling like you are shining. They love your heart. They love how passionate you are. They love how desirable you are. We also have the King of Pentacles representing your special person. So this person is feeling 
mature feelings of love for you. Not only are they feeling the Knight of Cups, but they're also coming through as the King of Pentacles. So that's a very sturdy offer. So this is someone that wants to be stable with you. This is someone who wants to be is realistic about creating a mature, committed future. So this, the King of Pentacles is about commitment. So this might come as a bit of a shock to you with the tower. This might come as a bit of a shock to your person. I feel like this is an energetic shock. You know, this is like, whoa, I'm feeling all this new love. And I feel like, yeah, they, they're hit with all this new feelings of love. And it's adding this maturity, a mature feeling for your person here towards you. So I feel like they're walking towards you to create this King of Pentacles energy, this new love. I hope that's in the, yeah. In the frame so this is exciting this is feels exciting uh yes so the next 48 hours your person's you're getting they're feeling divine orchestration and they're getting divine orchestration they're getting helpers from the subtle help from the subtle realms in the form of you know this looks to me like all the masters or most of the masters we have buddha we have jesus we have mary it looks like kuan yin uh-huh and others that I don't necessarily recognize, but maybe you guys do. Kathumi, I think. Yeah, Kathumi. So, yes, you're getting help. They are, and you are getting help. And it's creating this kind of tower moment of energetic excitement, it feels like, you know? And it does, it doesn't have to be negative to be a tower moment. So this doesn't feel negative. This feels like a, sh like a, a flash of insight that makes them listen to their true feelings to bring justice to your connection for new love, to give you, to give the queen of cups, this loving, nurturing, beautiful, open, heartwarming queen of a person, you, if you're a female watching this, or if you're a male, just flip it around. The, you know, these mature, like a mature offer of love. This person adores you. We're seeing divine union here. So look at Ten of Wands, whatever was burdensome, this feels like you know, something was heavy between you two, or it was just, it was getting laborious, it feels like the word laborious, you know, then you're getting help. So what the, what they weren't able to see with the Two of Swords, they're getting tower momented out of them. They're getting struck by a flash of insight so that what they couldn't see, they can now see bringing the Two of Wands instead of the Two of Swords energy bringing the two of pentacles instead of the two of swords energy and look at this really balancing each other out all these twos is balance 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 to me two 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 so that's going to be in two days two twenty two so this is a very special reading guys this is universe stepping in and saying you know i'm helping that's always why things seem to transform is because we get help from the other realms the subtle realms and that's what we that's why we're here we can't go here on, on earth blind and alone we have to get support so this is no longer being able to see and feeling really burdened by that to getting a ton of support that causes new love and new balance and new passion and, and a lot of new possibility between the two of you so we also have another queen of cups so this is two queens of cups so this is this is the universe saying big time um how important it is that you listen to your heart and how that's what i'm channeling and how how important it is to be open with your in your heart space to really get in that queen of cups energy we have the double king of pentacles so you two are both showing up as the universe wants you to know very clearly that you he is the king of pentacles and you are the queen of cups and that's why we saw it twice so with the strength card this is about having the strength of heart to love the strength of heart to have this divine union i don't want to look over that divine union the universe is saying this is a divine union so i'm just feeling about i just want to see what the movement is here so basically what i'm feeling here is that the the knight of cups is walking to his queen of cups and joining the two cups together and and offering love so you are very much this person the love of their life and king of pentacles is saying hey i'm not just the knight of cups i have a lot of mature feelings for you that i want to ground and, and so in the next 48 hours this is someone who's coming together not with a, a a flippant offer of something like that's fleeting but it's something that's lasting with the king of pentacles so this is a lasting energy 
of a new form of love. So you you guys might have known each other for, you know, two months, two days, two years, 20 years. It's a feeling of new love. It's new love for you. And it's divinely orchestrated. And it's because your masculine is air or feminine, depending on who you're watching. Your divine person is balancing themselves out, balancing the divine masculine and feminine out, bringing this balanced energy of the two, two of pentacles, two of wands. Whereas they were off balance and couldn't see before, now there's justice. Okay, pile two. So this is a divine union of sorts. Call it what you want. It's, it's the universe is saying this is a divine connection. The person adores you and you're going to be surprised because there's a big energy awakening because everyone's listening to their true feelings, you and your person. So with the page of swords, this is movement forward. So I believe your person is going to be direct with you or you'll be direct with them. And this is about communication, right? Page of swords, direct forward communication, movement forward. Yes, so it feels like forward movement, guys, and it's grounded forward movement with the Two of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. So, uh, Queen of Cups, open your heart, right? Be passionate, let that passion come through. And you are holding the strength of this union. You are holding the infinite nature of this connection. And they see that. And, yeah, they admire that inside of you. Hey guys, I'm sure there's so much more here. So if you need help in your own, with your own connection, hit me up for a private reading. The information is in the description box below, guys. Let me get you a little bit of guidance. So I pick these by closing my eyes, digging around in this hat until I feel like they're, I've got the cards that you need. What does Pile need, 2 need to know about the next 48 hours with their special person? Okay. So they're saying this is an 11 11 union. Again, so this is something that is joined together throughout time and space, throughout time, space, and consciousness. So this was one, seeking to be grounded by the divine masculine here. So if you know, remember that your strength, remember who you are. Remember, this is divinely guided, and if things have been laborious in the past, you're going to get your justice here. If you'd been carrying all the weight, you're getting that divine support, that divine orchestration from the Council of Light. So, vibe. So, the telepathically connect. So, tell, tell your person what you want telepathically in the next 48 hours, and then ground yourself. <laughs> So is that tower, you know, you're, you might get a huge offer and be like, what the hell just happened, you know? So make sure you're ready to hear from your person if that's what you want and tell, talk to them and then ground yourself, dig into the root chakra, into the earth so that you have balanced energy and that mama earth, Gaia mother is supporting this connection and helping you to create it, helping to get this justice because your person is listening to their feelings, right? Gonna get some fun. So if you like it, guys, make sure you like it. If you haven't subscribed to Earth by View, I'd love to have you as part of the family. So looking at a deepening of the commitment, possible engagement for many of you, possible marriage in the horizon, definitely a deepening of the commitment. You guys are, you do have a divine union here, so why wouldn't you wanna, right, make it a lifetime? Why not? me so focus on you me 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 ground yourself okay so some of you are cancers with this july i feel like some of you are gonna have a big day on the we got 222 when you add these numbers together we're gonna have a big day on 222 third eye awakening definitely you guys are getting together in this new wisdom with this elephant wisdom is happening here so they love they love how unique you are they think you are like a unicorn you know very rare and they're feeling excited and happy about that they love your heart they love who you are they feel like they want to button ooh, button up this connection and like make it seal the deal so that they you guys can be together with that king of pentacles this is a magical feeling they're feeling magic towards you we have one letter an l and 
You know, just know that this person is nurturing. They might not have shown that, but they are. They have a lot of nurturing feelings towards you. Actually, what was I saying? We have more than enough. <laughs> we have these three. Mel. Some of you are going to be Mel's. I know it. Melanie or Mel. And then, yeah, so some things start really small. But remember, they have a very big impact and a lasting impact no matter how small they start. So even if you get small gestures, they can have a, an impact that literally lasts a lifetime. All right, guys. Well, make sure that you like it if you like it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd love to have you. Thank you so much, Pile 2, for stopping by. I do hope this has served you. So much love to you. And yeah, enjoy the next 48 hours. Let me know. Comment below. Okay, guys? Okay, Pile 2. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. All righty, guys. Hope you are enjoying this. We're gonna move on now to pile three. Let's scoop these up. Okay, beautiful reading. Beautiful. Okay, pile three people. If you're new to, new to Earth 5D, welcome. So glad to have you here. So glad to have you here. We are gonna ask the question today. What's going to happen with my special person in the next 48 hours? What is going on in the next 48? You chose happy thoughts, guys. So I'm going to read this to you. If you feel happier right now, to feel happier right now, think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. All right. So this is a, this is a saying that your person is thinking happier thoughts about you. They are... They have you on their mind and in their thoughts and what they're thinking is positive, straight up. So share your voice, time to come out of the cave, persecution, expression. So if this is you, uh, this could be, you. this is either they want you to share your voice, right? Quite literally, or they have something to say, but there's definitely communication here in the next 48 guys is what it's feeling. because. What no one this card would never come out, share your voice. So this is about speaking. So they want to speak their mind. They have happy thoughts and they want to say something about it. And I also feel like for 99.9% .9 of you, they would love to hear from you. Okay. So we have Quan Yin. Oh my gosh, I think I hear the ice cream man outside. I'm hearing ice cream truck sounding music. That's kind of magical. <laughs> so enjoy the journey of life. Be not afraid of its mysteries. Take a chance and follow your heart. You are guided and protected by Kuan Yin, goddess of mercy, compassion, and transformation. If you have been wavering about proceeding with something that is dear to you, then this is your confirmation. Just do it. So, okay, so your person wants to just move forward. They're feeling confident and they just, they have a new sense of assurance with inside of themselves and they want to say something about it. So your person wants to take action. Yeah. They're not wavering about you anymore. They have happy thoughts about you and they're not wavering. They don't want to waver. They're not interested in wavering anymore. we have the star so they're feeling like you are like just a big huge amount of inspiration in their lives right now you're lighting up their world you're lighting up their subconscious mind too i feel and the six of wands so they're thinking about a victory with you they're really feeling <laughs> they're really feeling inspired guys if you chose pile three your person is feeling really inspired they're feeling like it's a magical time the energy is really working well for them. This is a timeless reading. This is them tired of hiding how they feel. They want to give voice to their feelings. And it's happy. So they want a victory with you. They want to say things that are positive to you. And share happy thoughts with you. So we also have the Four of Wands. So this is a nod from the universe that this person is your twin flame, sacred, you know, divine feminine, divine masculine, your 
your divine union, your sacred heart, your sacred person. This person is your, your divine counterpart. And so they feel like that. Maybe they've been reading spiritual things and now they, maybe they've been, yeah. Some of them have been like tuned in and they, they're starting to understand what that means. And so they want to give rise to this energy. They want to give rise to this twin flame and this twin flame divine union energy. So don't get hung, hung up on the words, but the, the energy is there. So they're, if they were uncomfortable with how d deep your connection was, and what it woke up within them in this divine union, they're they're feeling good about it. Excuse me, they're feeling optimistic about it. They're feeling excited about it, and they want to say something. So this is extremely very beautiful energy. It's feeling very transformational and magical. So with the King of Wands, wow, passion. Four of Wands, King of Wands, Six of Wands. This is about them feeling fired up. Literally, like they're fired up, they're passionate. They want to come running towards you, double star, okay? So this is no joke. This is the universe saying, if you chose pile three, like this person, unequivocally, whatever that word is, they they want to be with you. They they You are lighting up their life. You are bringing them feelings of total optimism. And you are star seeds without a shadow of a doubt. So with the two stars like that, that's my symbol of also being having a star seed connection, star seed union. So if you also, if you have the chair, excuse me, if you chose pal three with the chariot here, you are definitely like, this is moving full force ahead, pal three. So let us know about the next 48, because this is the, the cards are really stacked in your favor. Or something to really happen um, that's different. So they want you to have the world. Then they want to have success. They've been working hard, I feel. You both have. And it's not its not like you haven't put in the effort. This achievement has not come without, you know, maybe days, months, years, lifetimes of, of work. So even if you didn't know this person, they were still working on this, you know? This is a divine union, so this is something that transcend space and time. So with the world here, this is something they want to ground this energy and give you the world. They want to have the world with you. The world's the happiest, most fulfilled card in the deck. It's the last card in the um, major arcana. This is something that, that is total fulfillment and they want to race towards that. They're having happy thoughts of like having this beautiful, optimistic, magical time. It's like a star filled night when you're out with someone that you love outside and you can see every constellation. So the Six of Pentacles, this is someone who wants to share generously with you. They no longer want to hold back. I don't know how someone could read this. The Six of Pentacles is off balance giving, you know? I just, it's balance giving. It's, they want to give. In the card, the person's being generous to the, the two people. I mean, it's, sometimes I see readers read that as someone holding back. Why? How could they see that? Um, maybe if there was like, okay a three of swords or something next to it but anyway or i guess it's upside down anyway it doesn't matter i'm just thinking out loud so with the six of pentacles this person wants to give to you this person wants to give equally and they feel like you are their star their shining star and with the temperance this is about grounding this energy this is about the universe making this real in the 3d so if you chose pile three guys this 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 pile is really lit, so it's it's about it's happening, it's grounding. We have the Seven of Pentacles here. Um, I'm not sure why I'm putting that up there, but I feel like this person really wants to work on this with you. These are usually reserved for Major Arcana, so I feel like this person really wants to ground this, work on this with you. They do good work. They want to work on this. They're fine with planting the seeds and waiting for that harvest. You know. Here's the Six of Cups. So again, the sixes, double sixes here. So this is someone who feels like you have the Six of Cups and the Four of Wands. So this is a divine union, like beyond divine unions. Two signs of it, right? So we have the King of Cups. We have the Chariot twice. Wow. All right, guys, so that's the Chariot twice. So this is moving towards success. This is 
off the chain reading in, in a good way. So this is like everything happening for you in your favor. It really is. So turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. So if you have, are in a rut, if you chose pile three and you're really in a rut, you're feeling stuck. Remember the love you guys shared here. Remember the times you guys shared. Remember this time so that you can have this because this is full force ahead and you know in the next 48 i'm just feeling the energy so this feels like someone you've known forever you know for lifetimes after lifetimes after lifetimes yeah this is a victory you know this person so you have the Six of Wands. I knew I saw another Six. So the Six of Wands, Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles. So those three Sixes are sometimes, it's a very, to me, that's a very, a transformational number. And it's about being close to, to Source Energy. So take what resonates with those three Sixes. It's just beautiful, very beautiful energy here. So uh, this is going towards manifestation. I've never seen so many two chariots and the eight of wands. I mean, I, I wish I had words to describe. So if this was, if this has been idle for a while and you've been in this, the four of cups energy, Lord have mercy to my masculine and feminine. This is moving forward to success. I don't quite have words, but it's absolutely beautiful. So you guys are having an energy awakening. I would expect communication with eight of wands and the chariot twice. Yeah, King of Cups. I mean, they might not be overflowing with emotion, but they they definitely have something to tell you, and, and that's that they love you. They want new love. They want to ground it. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. We see that progression of the grounding. King of Cups, Four of Cups, yes. So this is, I would expect in the next 48 hours, communication. I would expect victory. I, I feel like, this person thinks you're the star. I feel like the universe is saying, I'm grounding this energy with temperance. I'm, I'm blending the divine masculine and feminine on this earth. I'm showing you the four of wands. I'm showing you, uh, which is my 1111 divine union card, showing you the six of cups, which is a soulmate card. And I'm saying, hey, you know, we're having an energy awakening. I want to retreat with you. They're saying they want to get, get away with you. So the chariot can also, right, mean moving moving towards a goal of like getting away together. Six of Swords is usually my traveling card, but I think we I think we had all the sixes, but the Six of Swords, right? Yeah, Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, no Six of Swords. But with this Eight of Wand energy, that's so much passion, guys. All those Wands, King of Wands, it was yeah. Two persons showing up as the King of Cups and the King of Wands. So this is a really mature, loving feeling, guys. I don't know what else to say. Absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, guys, this is, there's a lot here. That's very beautiful. It's very positive. If you need guidance with this, hit me up for my own private, for your own private reading. There's a lot here. Okay, guys, so I can't unpack all of it right now. It would take hours and hours. But just take what resonates and if you need extra help let me know my information is in the description box below and let's get some charms if you like it guys like it and if you haven't subscribed to the channel would love to have you okay so this person is the one if you haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> you had every sign, right? Beliefs. Shift your thoughts. If you're not picking up on any of this, it's time to, to decide what you want to believe in here because this is moving forward full force. Double chariot, double star, four of wands, six of cups. The sun. This is the sun. The wheel of fortune. Okay, this is the world. This is about fulfillment, guys. This is about having love. This is about your person coming towards you. We have an S, a V, and an R, guys. 
got pentacles happening, grounding and money. This is about your person getting clear about their happy thoughts towards you. You have several angels here, an archangel and then kind of like someone from your light family looking after this connection. We have a two, an 11, a 10, 10, five. I know that's someone's birthday that regularly watches this channel. <laughs> All right, and we have double fours. So if, double, if triple sixes are your number, double fours are your number, it means it's definitely your reading. Even if you don't see anything here in the charms, that means something to you. If you see anything in their cards that means something to you and in your heart, then it's for you. So with marriage, this is about commitment. Now, if you, you take what resonates in terms of where you are at naturally and in, in, in terms of your commitment with one another. So if you just met each other, it's, it's probably unlikely that it's going to be a marriage tomorrow, but it's heading towards a deep commitment. Some of you, it will be a marriage. So I'll let you know. You'll be either getting married because you planned a marriage, a wedding, or you know, you're going to get proposed to. So with positivity here, you need to shift your perspective. So this is two cards about changing your perspective. So some of you have been hurt in the past and you're in the Four of Cups energy. Just know that this is possible if you, if you want it by just shifting to positivity. So with construction, Spirit is redesigning your union. So if in the past you guys have been under construction, like the construction zone, like er, everything's under construction, this person is like full speed ahead. Okay? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful reading. Thank you for letting me share it and being part of your energy. You guys are awesome. And thank you for so much for being part of the channel and lots of love to you. Have a beautiful day or night wherever you are in the world. Bye for now.